All right, guys. Well, unbelievably, it has turned into a beautiful day here in the end times. As I here on Friday afternoon, October 22nd, uh, 2021. So it is definitely time to head out of New York Bay because apparently all of the ice cream shops have closed up for the year. You can't get a fucking ice cream cone in the state of New York anymore. Uh, what the hell is all that about? Uh, but anyway, so I am uh, celebrating my two-hour victory of getting my goddamn gas-sucking truck uh, inspected. Looking at this giant pink elephant here at the... Uh, at the mini golf place I really have got to man that giant pink elephant has my name all over it maybe that big concrete lion but anyway uh, I was just listening uh, I was over there on NPR don't ask me why I was there NPR and they were talking about some little hissy fit that some trannies at uh, Netflix were having a few days ago. I guess uh, a bunch of these uh, trannies uh, got all got their little panties in a wad. I guess trannies wear panties. Obviously, trannies wear panties. Uh, the cause of this Dave Chappelle special that was on Netflix I think the closer it was unclear from the thing whether they yanked the video down or not uh, I watched this video myself last week I watched Dave Chappelle uh, the closer and I, I mean I watched the whole thing I mean I wasn't paying super close attention to it but I watched it and, and for the life of me guys I honestly have no memory of him making any jokes about trannies. Uh, if, if he made a joke about trannies, it, it, it went right in one ear and out the other like it did, uh, you, you know, to the 99.9% .9 of the population who aren't trannies. But I, I just get so fucking sick and tired of it, guys. And it's not just the trannies. It, it's, it's all of this political correctness shit. You know, Derek Jensen. How much shit ha has Derek Jensen eaten from the goddamn tranny community? E e you know? Oh, hey, man. Dave Chappelle is making fun of my sexual whatever. We don't give a fuck. You know, we really don't give a fuck uh, about your little uh, about your little swivet. I love that word, swivet, uh, that you're having because some fucking comedian making some joke. Uh, I, I guess about some dude getting his dick cut off or something. I, I mean, who knows what the goddamn joke was? You know, so what people anti-maskers and anti-vax uh, mandators uh, you, you know we're open fucking game open fucking game uh, to be laughed at ridiculed whatever uh, you know it's part of the fucking territory uh, if you take a stand whether it's cutting your fucking dick off or, or whether it's uh, you know refusing to go along or along with the herd wearing these fucking little masks whatever you're gonna set yourself up uh, y y you know to some fucking jokes uh, f from the uh, you know the majority uh, big fucking deal y you know uh, as some of you might be aware, I, I, this, this is not a Dulcinea rant, but this, this is just an example. Okay, Dulcinea 
has made how many videos, darling, in the last month uh, talking about Hambone Little Dick? Uh, she, she just made one uh, yesterday, or is it two days ago now? Uh, th th this is a message for you, Hambone Little Dick. Uh, Dulcinea has never seen my dick. Uh, she doesn't know how big my dick is. I, I don't think Dulcinea gives a flying fuck about how big my dick is. What that, what she was doing in those was actually uh, making a joke about uh, Pauline, you know, uh, guy's little uh, deep pocket sugar tit. Pauline calling me Hambone Little Dick in a uh, in a recent video. As hard as Pauline tried to see, tried to get a look at my dick when I was in in, in the mud hut, uh, Pauline uh, has no more idea than uh, than Dulcinea uh, how how big my fucking dick is. Okay. So uh, I, I, I will have to, <laughs> I, I was thinking about that, you know, I, I was thinking about some of the best comments I have ever heard from, from women uh, over, you know, back when I used to have sex. Uh, and, 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 and one of the comments uh, was the first time uh, I had uh, sex with, a, the, with this woman when we finished. And she goes, "Wow!" She goes, "You sure prove that uh, that nice things come in small packages." <laughs> so I, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe she knew something uh, that others. What? But my my two other favorite. Uh, I've 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 mentioned all these before. Uh, my uh, two other favorite comments from uh, women. Uh, <clears throat> that I just finished fucking. One of them was, you know, Hambone, uh, she goes, technically, you are very proficient. Technically, you are very proficient uh, <laughs> uh, in bed, but emotionally, you may as well be rowing a boat. <laughs> that was a classic, and then maybe my favorite one was on uh, was on Christmas morning, Christmas morning, where I had uh, uh, gone home with, with one of these uh, with, with, with one of my friends in Austin, Texas. Uh, she's still my good friend. Uh, so we go home Christmas Eve, and at like six o'clock in the morning. Uh, I, I, I'm sitting there fucking her doggy style, and after this long night, and I remember her uh, with her ass up in the air, bobbing up and down in the air, and she looks over her shoulder with the, with this look of absolute disgust, and she goes, "You know, Hambone, by the third time, it just gets a little annoying." <laughs> By the third time, it just gets a little annoying. So anyway, uh, but, but the point of all this, guys, is, uh, you know, so what? So uh, Pauline and Dulcinea or whatever, uh, you know, making jokes about Hambone Little Dick, uh, who gives a fuck? You know? You know, it's like this goddamn fat shaming. Uh, you know, if you have a fucking BMI uh, of 72, uh, ex expect some fucking fat shaming. Get the fuck over it. You know, this is a you know a major major uh, you know Don Juan. Uh, Matus Carlos Castaneda lesson about about this goddamn, per, you, you know, uh, self importance that about how people you know they spend their entire lives, all of these people spending their entire fucking lives 
uh, just waiting, waiting, uh, you know, for somebody to, to make a joke uh, about their physical appearance or, 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 or whatever, what, you know, religion they are, uh, whether uh, they want to cut their fucking dicks off or not, uh, whatever. You know, just going through life, you know, just looking, just looking for a personal insult behind every tree. Just going around and spending your entire life being personally offended uh, by other people. You know? Jesus! Uh, the, the unbelievable... Uh, amount of fucking energy that, that we all spend uh, going around just just waiting for somebody to offend us. Oh, they offended me. You know, get some fucking balls. I don't care if you are a fucking tranny. You know, before you cut your fucking dick off, your little dick, your big dick, whatever size your dick is, before you cut the thing off, you know, leave just enough fucking balls behind that you can take a fucking joke, you know, these little whiny little fucks, you know, trying to, uh, I, I guess the, the, you know, the, they were trying, I don't know if they succeeded in, in getting uh, Dave's uh, video pulled down. I honestly don't know this very minute. Uh, their little protest uh, about how they were so offended. Dave Chappelle made a tranny joke. Jesus. Jerry Atrum, would you weigh in on this? I don't know if Jerry is still, uh, is still part of the tribe. I remember Jerry, G-E-R-I, Jerry telling me uh, <clears throat> several years ago, saying, Hambone, do you realize I am the only tranny left on the planet listening to this shit coming out of your mouth. Uh, if you want to cut your fucking dick off, cut your fucking dick off. Okay? If you want to, I, I guess if you want to cut your fucking tits off and, uh, and, and somehow turn your pussy into a dick, cut your fucking tits off. Nobody gives a fuck, okay? Hate to tell you, nobody gives a fuck how big your fucking dick is, whether you have a fucking dick, whether you cut your fucking dick off. Nobody fucking cares, you know? It's, it's, called, it's, it's called comedy. Uh, having a little bit of fun uh, in, in, in the fucking end times. Just this whole assault on comedy, uh, this goddamn political correctness, this fucking little snowflake bullshit, uh, you know, trying to silence people. Uh, why don't you start by silencing uh, all of those people turning anti-maskers uh, in, in, into the newest uh, goddamn Christians being thrown to the fucking lions? Uh, anyway, I just had to get that off my chest, but now that I did, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my little dick and uh, head back home and. Uh, on this suddenly beautiful day, and I have got, what, 38 daffodil bulbs left to plant. We could have our first frost tonight. Uh, could have our first frost, and I need to get some daffodil bulbs into the ground. I highly suggest you get out there. Uh, and take your little dick or your big dick or your no dick uh, and get out there and plant daffodil bulbs while you still can. I think the little dog is feeling better. I am thrilled to say the little dog 
He had a uh, a turkey slider from uh, Arby's. He seemed quite happy with the Arby's turkey slider. I hope I haven't made him sick again. I'm going to get out there and enjoy a beautiful afternoon. And uh, we'll probably not think about trannies while I'm poking holes in the ground. Bye, guys.